Poor people of the community are affected by bushfires. Construction of property can be extremely costly. Residual effects can impact the economy, with a major factor being loss of tourism. Extinguishing the fire is expensive as well, especially the cost of aerial firefighting. A clear example of this is from the Black Saturday bushfires, where over 2,000 houses were destroyed, and the damage cost totaled to approximately $4.5 billion. Socially speaking, a severe bushfire can destroy and obliterate property leaving communities homeless, dislocated, depopulated, and loss of work comes as a ripple effect to these situations. Unfortunately, a common social impact is loss of life. In the Black Saturday bushfires in 2009, 173 people died and 414 people were injured. Not only is this effect physical, but it can also be emotional and mental, leaving people in shock and distress. Fires have the capability to wreck and kill all the wide diversity of flora, leaving animals without homes. Ground cover can be removed, creating soil erosion, and there is also an associated air pollution that has health risks on human and animal life. From the Black Saturday fires in Victoria, it is estimated that over 1 million animals died, 62,000 hectares of grazing area and 32,000 tonnes of hay were lost in the fire. Contamination to water occurred with ash and debris in catchment areas that supplied Melbourne's water. Not all effects of bushfires are detrimental. Fires are necessary to regenerate regrowth. For example, a eucalyptus tree needs fire to open the seed pods, allowing them to germinate. The indigenous people also use them to regulate the environment, which is believed why there weren't as many catastrophic fires. Bushfires have a disastrous impression, whether it be socially, economically, and or environmentally. It is possible for destruction to be prevented and minimised if people in groups respond accordingly.